Hello everyone and welcome to Smart India Hackathon 2020. In our last video, we gave you an overview of what is Slack. In this video, we will show you how to use Slack and its channels. Slack is like a chat room for our nodal centers. It is designed to replace email as your primary method of communication and sharing. So as is first step, all the nodal centers have to join the Slack first. My colleague will send the invite URL to all the nodal centers to join their respective slack workspace so this is how an invite will look like my colleagues will be sending this joining link to you all and you can fill in the details and join the channel once the representatives from nodal centers join the workspace we will make them admin of the workspace and then they can invite the teams problem treatment owners evaluators and others to join the workspace using the same invite url which was shared with you and then you can add them to channel they want to be part of in order for anyone to join any channel they first have to join the workspace first then it is the responsibility of the nodal center to add these people to their respective channels participants will be added in their private channel and in their respective problem statement public channel so the participants teams who have applied they will be added to two channels they can join other public channel but it will be relevant for them as their problem statement is different from others so we should discourage them from joining other problem statement public channels by default everyone will be added to announcement and social media channel which will be common for all only admins can post in the announcement channel so team can only view it like announcement in a new notice board so this is how the dashboard of the workspace will look like once you join the workspace on the left hand side we have all the channels here where our teams will be you can easily identify the type of channels by looking at the icons a public channel will have a hash icon and a private channel will have a lock icon we have named the channels using the template problem statement id underscore team name for private channels and problem statement id underscore problem statement owner for public channels before i show you how to add people to channels we need to understand who need to be added where you will be adding people to different channels based on their role so let's start with announcement first as the name suggests you can make all the announcements give instruction tell about timeline etc here in this channel it is a read only channel and only admins can make the announcement which will be representative from nodal centers if you want to make important announcement, always start the message by typing at the rate channel. I can show you here also how you can do it. So you need to do put type in at the rate channel and then you can give put all the information you want to give. This will send a notification to all, even though they have switched off their notification. So this way we can make sure everyone gets the notification. Next channel we can discuss is problem statement channel. This channel will have problem statement owners and teams who have applied for that particular problem. Problem statement owners will only be added to channels for which they have given a problem statement. Let's take the example of problem statement ID AG343. So this is a public channel. So all you have to do is add people teams who have applied for these, this problem statement. And these are the teams who have applied for it. I am sure you must be having the list of all the teams who have applied and all the problem statement they have applied for so it will be easy for you to add them if a problem statement owner has given more than one problem statement then he will be added to all public channels for which he has given problem statement let's take the example over here so this problem statement owner cdk global has given multiple problem statement problem statement id number 24 problem statement id number 25 problem statement ID number 26 and problem statement ID number 27 they have given four problem statement so we have created four different channels for this for this uh, problem statement owner you have to add the teams for that particular problem statement into their respective problem statement channels in the, the which is a public channel so you need to add these uh, problem statement teams to the particular problem statement channel so R24 guys will only go in R24, R25 guys will only go in R25. So that's how we have to keep it separate. Next channel we can discuss is private channel. Private channel will only have team members in this channel 
and admins. If team member want to add any new member, they can also add them to their channel after they are added to Slack first. So I can show you how to add people over here. You can click on any channel and you need to click on add people. Select add to team name, continue. As these people are already added in the workspace, you have to search them by their name. Uh, for example, uh, my colleague, I'm gonna add one of my colleague who's already there. You need to search his name, click on it, and done. So he will be added to this channel. So this is the way you have to add all the team members into their respective private channels. Supposingly by mistake you have added a wrong team member to a wrong team. So you can remove them. Click on the view member list. Select the person you want to remove. And at the bottom there is an option called remove from this team. And selecting this option will remove them from this channel. So this is the way you have to add teams to public and private channel. Next channel we'll discuss is social media channel. Social media, we will use this channel for asking teams to keep sharing their social media post here, which they have made on any social media platform. They can share the link of the post made by them in this channel. As this is a public channel, they can keep on adding their uh, social media links here, or they can share, even add the screenshots of the discussions they are doing. As you will be the admin of Workspace, we will be adding you to all the channels so that you can manage them. If a person is non admin, he will be only able to see public channel and a private channel he is invited in. If you have any questions, please ask our representative for your nodal center and we will be more than happy to help you out. Thank you.